What is up YouTube? This is Armored back once again with another gameplay. Of course I still have my cold, so pardon my nasally voice for trying to get through this is fun. Um, this time instead of bring in a multiplayer, I'm actually playing the zombies map. I'm not much of a zombies player, I think I've played it maybe a couple of times my whole life, so I figured out uh, what with this new uh, game mode of transit which you can hop on and off a bus, you know, kinda of travel around, look like it was pretty fun. Um, I did discover that you can actually pick up uh, several parts um, like you just saw me right there I picked up uh, the mannequin body and on this bench just to my right as you'll see me uh, relatively soon there we go you can actually assemble um, this little device it's a mannequin body it is a propeller almost like a fan base top and then like a, a little fin and see here's the fin right here when you combine all three pieces, as well as a power source, which you're going to find, I believe, on a bench outside, you can put it in front of doors and it blows them open. Really cool. There's also actually a ladder in this portion of the map that you can use to get on top of the bus um, for when you go around. Easier to shoot them, zombies coming at you. Unfortunately, I still have yet to find where the ladder is. Um, if you know where the ladder is, put it in the comments below. Help me out be good, you know, share it with the community, share it with uh, a new little group, a little family that we're starting here. Um, I like to pick up the uh, assault rifle, which is up on the wall. Really powerful, much more better than the Olympus that you can pick up in this area. Um, in this area, you start off with the pistol. The Rafika is on the roof of the bus. You have an Olympus on the wall, and then you have this assault rifle. Um, usually for the first two rounds, you can get by um, with just uh, knifing. First round usually about one knife. Um, and then it starts going up, you know, two knives, three knives, four knives to kill. Um, I like to take it slow and kind of shoot headshots. Um, dropping down pretty quick, plus you get extra points. Um, once you feel pretty confident, uh, this quick revive here is actually um, pretty cool for you new people just like me who have never really played uh, zombies before. Um, it allows you, if you get knocked down, uh, to come back up. And I believe you get three revives for each one of those you use and uh, points come pretty easy so it, it's just nice to have you bust out the, the dual pistols and you can revive yourself um, remember to always pick up the little um, items that are dropped by the zombies um, in this case you saw the skull that allows for um, instant kill so one shot kills them instantaneously you know, so no need to waste your bullets with uh, extra firing um, the other item you can always pick up is a hammer. Hammer rebuilds all structures that the zombies tear down. Um, you have X2, which is double points. The double points, as the name implies, actually gives you double the points. And then there is a... Come on now, what's that last one? The nuke bomb. The nuke bomb automatically ends the round. Um, and you get a little bit of points, you know, not the full amount. Um, but as you see, here I am, I'm just uh, running around, I'm knifing and shooting people, and what you see gets uh, pretty crazy soon, and um, I'll show you a little technique that you can use to try to help um, with the zombies. Um, you will see though, in this version of uh, zombies that I didn't see in the original Black Ops, was the introduction of uh, fire. Um, with the fire, you should put a couple bullets in the zombies, the zombies actually blow up. Uh, can hurt the zombies around you as well as hurt you as well so you kinda want to be careful when you're shooting at them I think I end up staying in this area for five rounds I think before I get on the bus maybe six uh, it's mainly because um, I actually for forget to get on the bus and the bus kinda leaves me um, there was the power source you just saw it's on the bench right next to this. So you put it on and what you see is the completion. So you grab it and then as you see it's uh, in my bottom right hand corner it's actually mapped to the up arrow. So you just gotta hit the up arrow and then fire the trigger as if you're firing a gun drops it, opens the doors, you can pick it back up again. It's kinda nice. Oh, now as I was speaking about, um, so if you get end up getting swarmed by zombies, you don't know what to do. There's a technique called kiting. Um, I know some of the best uh, players in the world, you know, Murka Durka, Syndicate, Power Puncher, they all use this technique. It's essentially when you run around in almost a looping circle, it lines them all up, and then you can just run a train on them, find one shot after another, taking out just tons of zombies at a time. Unfortunately, as you notice, I'm not, you know, 
not exactly the best that zombies haven't played too much, so my kiting skills are nowhere near on Paul with you know, some of those other guys, but, you know, we, we make do. And with that, I'm actually going to let you go, let you enjoy some of the rest of the zombies mode here. I think I get to round 8 or 9, uh, and as always, please like, favorite, leave a comment, helps and goes a long way. Peace. Oh, the knees of bending easy. 
zombie free! Interfering with proper pulse control is unsafe for all passengers. 